everyone have you used our bi bookmarks before if not you miss out mm, so what is power bi bookmark it is similar to a bookmark that you can put in a book so that you can quickly go to a given page now in power bi you have the ability to create bookmarks to help you to quickly navigate to a page within Power BI reports. But not only that, the Power BI bookmark also remember your preferred filtering, drill down, sort settings of your data, and display settings of your visuals, which one is hidden, which one is shown, and which one get the spotlight. And do this via Power BI Surface as well as Power BI Desktop. First, let me show you how to create a bookmark in Power BI Surface. Now notice that in Power BI Surface, there are two types of bookmark. Personal bookmark and report bookmark. Personal bookmarks are bookmarks created by you for your own personal use. Whereas report bookmarks are bookmarks created by the report owner for everyone to use. Let's look at a sample sales and marketing reports. It has many pages, as you can see in the pages pane in here that you can click. Let's say you get asked to review this report to make sure that they're accurate. As you're reviewing them, you may need to pause and stop for lunch. And you need to remember where you are up to. How do you do that? You can use a bookmark. All you need to do is click bookmark button over here, add a personal bookmark. Let's say type to be continued. Make it a default view so that when you open this report, this is the page that will be displayed and hit save. Can you see? That to be continued is now displayed in here. And there is also an option to click show more bookmarks in here so that then the bookmark panes appear on the right. Now this down arrow, it can be open. The bookmark that you have created is listed in here and then you can create more as required or you can collapse them. And then you will see another type of bookmark called report bookmark being displayed. You can open up the list. These are basically the reports that the author has previously created. If you are not the author of this report, then the add button is gray and, and it suggests that you cannot add more. But you can use their bookmark if you want to. And click show online for example it takes you in there and show social it takes you in there yeah. now or you can just use your own bookmark which is to be continued earlier so those are some examples of the bookmark now once you have created a bookmark you can rename them all you need to do is right click and hit rename maybe i'm going to call it to be continued later now Say for example, you're in here and then you close the reports and then you come back after lunch and you go to that report again and boom, notice you're back to that page that to be continued later that you have created. What are the uses of bookmarks? As you are reviewing them, say you notice something exciting or something interesting. For example, social channel, top selling product in October is Maximus 25. How about in January? Uh, a different one, yeah, Maximus 16. So let's say I want to remember the top selling product for October. What I can do is I can create a bookmark and click add personal bookmark and call it top selling online product max. And this is October 2014. October 14. I'm going to hit show more bookmarks so that I can see my list. Now remember, the bookmark that I created is displayed under personal bookmark. So now I have two. I'm going to hit my previous bookmark. So it takes you to the previous one. And if you click that, it will take you to that newly created one. Let's create another one. Let's create online and January. In January 2014 for online channel, it's a different product. 
I'm going to name that January 14. And I'm going to hit save. My previous one. Oh, I just realized that this previous one is actually not an online product. This is a social channel product. So I'm going to rename this. That right click rename and hit social. That's how you fix it. Because I have now gone past my previous to be continued later bookmark, I'm back from lunch, I can just remove this. How do you remove it? You can right click and hit delete. That way then your list is cleaner. Because there is a limit, the maximum number of personal bookmark that you can have is 20. There is also another limitation of bookmark, which is if your author decides to delete some of the fields, for example, if the month number is deleted or the year is deleted, but it's captures in this page as part of your bookmark, then you may get an error message or a warning because your bookmark may not work properly. After all, if you remember this bookmark, it doesn't just remember the page. It also remember the various setting. You know, it remembers the year and the month. By the way, if you select the product, it can even remember the selection. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to right click update so that it remembers that I'm selecting Maximus 25. So I'm going to go back to this one and come back to here. Look, Maximus 25 is still selected. Now for this one, I can do the same thing. If I want Max 54 to be selected in the bookmark, then I just click that one, right click the bookmark, hit update. And now each top selling product is selected in the bookmark. Next. Let me also show you how to create a bookmark in Power BI Desktop. The steps are very similar, but you have more options to customize the data, display, and current page settings. The bookmark created in Power BI Desktop will be shown as part of report bookmark in Power BI Surface. Let's go to Power BI Desktop. We are in the desktop version. I want to show you how to create bookmark in here. Go to view. I hit bookmarks so that you can see the bookmark panes on the right. I'm going to create a test bookmark. Very simple. Go and click add. Double click and rename it as test. And then what I'm going to do is go to a different page in here. And I'm going to show you that if I hit test, it will take me to the previous page. Very, very similar to Power BI Surface. And just remember, all the bookmark that you created in Power BI Desktop, once you publish it, I'm going to publish this. I'm going to save changes first and then publish to Power BI Surface. I'm just going to replace that. So the bookmark that I have just created, which is this test, will appear under report bookmark. Now I'm going to go back to Power BI Surface and just show you that the bookmark, the test, will appear in here later. Now when you open it, it's not yet there. So what you need to do is you need to refresh. Just hit reload this page. Now if that's gone, what you need to do is just go to bookmark and show more bookmark. And look, the test is there. So very, very similar steps. Uh, the only difference with creating bookmark in Power BI Desktop is that there are more options in here. There is some optional settings on data, display, current page, all visuals, etc., which I will explain in my next video. Congratulations! Now you know how to create bookmarks. Are you excited about creating your future bookmarks? Let me know your experience with creation of new bookmarks in Power BI and see you next time.